On this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make falafels from scratch. I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade yogurt sauce and a tahini to die for. Your confidence in the kitchen is gonna burst through the roof, everyone's gonna love your dish, and you're gonna be able to say, I made it all from scratch. My name is Scott, this is Learning Vegetarian. Let's get started. Hi everyone. On this episode, we're going to make falafels from scratch. And I gotta be honest, this was something I never thought I would be able to make or even thought twice about making. But once I learned how to do it and I dove in, I realized it's actually not that hard and having falafels in the fridge are a great snack throughout the day. So I'm gonna show you how to make a wonderful homemade yogurt sauce that when we put these in a pita, you're gonna to top it with the yogurt sauce and then I'm also gonna show you how to make a tahini from scratch that you're gonna put in that pita with the rest of the falafel. It's gonna be so good, you're gonna be so impressed and you're gonna knock the socks off of all the people you're cooking for. Let me tell you what, they're gonna be asking for this again. I can't wait to share this with you, let's get started. For our Greek yogurt sauce, we're gonna go ahead and add some Greek yogurt, lemon juice, dill that we'll chop up, some olive oil, and some salt and pepper. I'm gonna start this by straining a lemon into a bowl just so I can get all the juice out of it. When you're trying to juice your lemon, or a lime for that matter, the easiest thing to do is actually take it and roll it with your hand for about 30 seconds or so. That actually helps the juices release out of the, out of the fruit and you're able to squeeze it out a little bit easier. This lemon is perfect. Go ahead and throw in half cup of Greek yogurt and about a tablespoon of olive oil. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of freshly chopped dill in there as well. I love making this because of the smells that come out of it between the dill and the lemon your kitchen just smells so fresh. It, I love it, I love it. Of course, as everything, we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Well done. Okay, I'm gonna stick a lid on this. I'm gonna put it in the fridge so it cools while we make our, go ahead and make our falafel. So the next step we need to do is go ahead and make our tahini sauce. Now, if you're saying to me, Scott, what's a tahini? It looks like this. It's a can of pureed sesame seeds. It's in a thick consistency that looks almost like peanut butter, but you can find this in your international section of the grocery store. For our tahini sauce, we're gonna use some tahini, lemon juice, salt, and some minced up garlic. We'll also be using some warm water to thin out our paste. We're gonna start with about a half cup of tahini into our bowl. We're gonna add one half teaspoon of minced garlic, a little bit of lemon juice. Your tahini will turn into a slight paste, so if you want it a little runnier, just add some more hot water, tablespoon by tablespoon. We have our tahini done, so I'm gonna stick this in the fridge as well and let this cool while we finish the falafels. For this recipe, we're gonna use garbanzo beans, otherwise known as chickpeas, from a can that's been strained and rinsed. We're gonna use some parsley and cilantro, some garlic, a shallot. We will use some flour, salt and pepper, coriander, and some cumin. And for this, we'll be using a small food processor to blend it all together. To get started, go ahead and add your full can of garbanzo beans to your food processor. Add your garlic, parsley, cilantro, about three tablespoons of flour. We'll add our cumin. Throw in your coriander. Chop up your shallot. Of course, we'll add in some salt and pepper.
and we'll go ahead and blend. Now that we've got it all blended, you can see it's a nice thick paste, careful taking the blade out, but I just wanted to show you what that should look like. All right, so before we get to rolling out our falafels, I wanna go ahead and get the stove ready. So I'm gonna put our oil into our pan. I'm gonna turn it to a medium height and get that oil really going. Now, this is where I have to say, please be very careful because hot oil burns. I don't want anyone to get hurt. So proceed with caution. For this portion, I'm just gonna put a silk hat or a non-stick sheet on top of my half sheet. You can use parchment paper, whatever you desire. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our balls and roll them to about an inch, about an inch in size. This is the part where you don't have to be perfect because every, as long as they're pretty close in size, that's all that matters. But really we want them to be pretty similar in size, but they don't have to be perfect. By the way, at this point, your kitchen should smell so good with the fragrance of dill, of lemon, the coriander, all the other spices that we put in here. My kitchen smells so fresh and so good. I cannot wait to have these pitas. While being very gentle and careful, slowly place the falafels into the hot oil. We're only gonna do about four or five of them at a time just so that we don't cool the oil down at one time and we can get a nice even cook. When these guys are done, they will float to the top and be a nice golden brown. I've also prepared a plate with paper towel on it just so that when we're ready to take these out of the pot, they have a nice place to sit and can drain into the paper towel. Oh my gosh, these look so good. I'm so proud of myself and I'm so proud of you because we have made falafels. Did you ever think you were gonna do this in your life? Maybe not, but you did today and I'm so proud of you. All right, look at these. They are nice and crispy. Mm, they're so good. I could not wait to get this in a pita. Oh my gosh, this tastes so good. I am so proud of you. Not only did you make a falafel from scratch, you made a yogurt sauce and a tahini. This is a great sandwich for lunch, for dinner, for everyone in your household, and now you can say you made it all from scratch. Congratulations to you. Please continue to make this and make it your own. My name is Scott, this is Learning Vegetarian. Until next time.